Afghanistan chaos continued today at the Kabul airport as thousands try to flee. Some new reports suggest the Taliban isn't allowing the access to the airport that they promised. That's right. And for more on that, WGN Shannon Halligan joins us from the newsroom with the very latest. Shannon? Yeah, after the quick collapse to the Taliban, the focus is now getting people out of Afghanistan. President Biden said today that he is committed to keeping U.S. troops there until every American is evacuated. Violence and chaos outside the Kabul airport as thousands of people attempted to flee while the Taliban advanced. An estimated 15,000 Americans remain in Afghanistan after the Taliban took full control of the nation last weekend. During an interview with ABC News, President Biden said the U.S. will not stop to evacuate people safely. We're going to do everything in our power to get all Americans out and our allies out. However, during a news conference, Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin said coordinating those efforts has proven difficult. We're really working hard uh, to get as many people through uh, as possible. And quite frankly, we're not, we're, it's, it's obvious, we're not close to where we want to be in terms of getting the numbers through. So we're going to work that 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And we're going to get everyone uh, that we can possibly uh, evacuate evacuated. There are now reports of Taliban checkpoints stopping some designated evacuees trying to get to the airport. The Pentagon said that about 5,000 civilians have been taken out of Afghanistan so far, but the president said they aim to get five to 7,000 people out a day. When asked if this exit could have been handled better, the president responded. No, I, I, I don't think it could have been handled in a way that there, we, we're going to go back in hindsight and look, but the idea that somehow there's a way to have gotten out without chaos ensuing, I don't know how that happens. I don't know how that happened. So for you, that was always priced into the decision? Yes. As for how quickly that happened, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff Mark Milley insisted it wasn't something anyone predicted. The time frame of a rapid collapse that was widely estimated and ranged from weeks to months and even years following our departure. There was nothing that I or anyone else saw that indicated a collapse of this army and this government in 11 days. The president said if there are Americans left in Afghanistan after the August 31st deadline to withdraw troops, then the U.S. will stay until all citizens are out. Live in the newsroom, Shannon Halligan, WGN News.